So we're going to cook a great meal tonight for family, friends, for neighbors, for anybody that's coming by. We're going to do it on a flat top grill. We're going to start with the steaks and you could put a little oil with the steaks. I prefer to take a steak and turn it over and use a little bit of the fat on the back for my base layer before I lay them down. Can you hear the sizzle on there? So we've got an absolutely wonderful little process going on here with no flare-ups. We've got even heat so we can control this process. So I'm going to start the steaks here. I'm going to start the potatoes over here in just one second. And then we're going to finish with vegetables. We've got a great sear going on the steaks. No flare-ups. Now we're going to throw the potatoes on. Nice shelves underneath. So I parboiled the potatoes just so they don't take quite so much time. I'm going to go with a little butter and a little vegetable oil just to raise the flash point. Then we're going to go with salt. Potatoes for some reason scream for a lot of salt. I like kosher salt because it doesn't clump, it doesn't stick to your fingers when you're putting it on and you can actually see it. I'm going to get a little bit more oil, fresh ground pepper. Hey, the steak's going to be turned in just a minute here. We're still developing. You can see the fat leaking off a little bit. We're still developing a beautiful sear on that. Look at the evenness on that grill. Same thing on all four steaks. Beautiful. And you can tell when a steak's ready to turn because it'll release itself. So I've just turned the steaks. Look at that unbelievable sear. The only thing we haven't got is grill marks. But guess what? We got no flare up. We got no mess. So I'm going to scunch the potatoes in a little bit and I'm going to start the vegetables off here to the outside. These are actually vegetables out of the garden. Zucchini, carrots, red onion. Red onion came from our local grocer. And once again I'm going to use butter and vegetable oil. I want it for the flavor but I'm just using the oil to raise the flash point. Okay, I think the steaks are beautifully seared. I think they're done. I'm going to take them off. We're going to let them rest for five minutes. I'm going to move the potatoes over into that area and pick up that flavor from the steaks. And then we're going to throw the corn on the back of the grill. And I tell you what, the flat top grill is as beautiful as the inside stove because it will take a flat pot and do a beautiful job steaming it. So I have all this fond right here. I'm going to use your little grill cleaner. And I'm going to incorporate that, that into the potatoes. Look at how that cleans up. And I'm also going to turn the grill down on this side just a little bit so I can sweat them a little bit and pick up everything off the grill to flavor the potatoes. So the Benihana of your backyard. A little stir fry on a flat top. So we've got the steaks over here resting. Potatoes are almost done. Vegetables are just finishing up right now. I'm going to wipe down this portion of the grill because I'm going to put a pot on it and I want to finish my corn. So this grill will act like a, a burner in your kitchen. So I can do, I can steam vegetables if I want to and we're going to do corn on it. And I just am picking up the oil so we don't burn the bottom of the pot with it. This, this grill will just do everything that you can do inside. You can steam vegetables on it, you could put a pan on it, you could make a sauce, you could make a sauce to finish your steaks. This just works so well. Look at the browning we've got on the potatoes, look at the vegetable steaming, and now look, we've got steamed corn all on the same grill. So let's go ahead and look at our steaks, okay? I'm going to take the end piece off right there. I'm going to cut it on the bias. And let's see what we've got. Oh, look at that. Beautiful pink steak, a little fat. You need the fat for the flavor. Look how juicy. So here's our beautiful meal on our flat top grill. Steak, potatoes, vegetables, fresh corn. And now all we got to do is scrape it down, put it away, and we're ready for breakfast in the morning or for whatever meal we're doing next.